Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday afternoon, September 27th. We are looking at Window Traders market profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. And boy, uh, it was a, to me it was kind of a boring afternoon, but very interesting day for all three of these indices as all three of us did something different. Triple Qs open, take out, actually opened on a very small gap, inside day down, and I mean they ripped down pretty good, right? They ripped down an A down to 367.75 around there. They had an inside day down by two and a half bucks, only to come back and take out the IB high in D and L. And they end 10 wide or 9 wide, I'm sorry, 9 wide. So the inside day down was a very big success in A period. But that's it. Or maybe in B when it came back, got above the open and failed, and then you could have done it again. But other than that, um, it wasn't much of a success the inside day down. Russell had a much better inside day up as they came out with an open and drive, drove straight up A through D, had two sets of single prints, which they held most of the day until C's got filled late in M. They do go out with a trend day, however, as they hold B single prints. SPY and ES. Well, we have a double inside day. Two days in a row. Two days in a row we have inside day. So the spring is tightening. The water's boiling. The envelope's being pushed. You, know, you, you name it, use any, any phrase you want to. But hopefully we're going to come out of this. We're going to come out of this and get some resolution to um, the... 50-day moving average, which we have not. We close the below it again. So this is, I think, day six or seven uh, that we've either been below it or traded through it. The longest by far all year. Okay? Um, volume was the worst we've had in a while. Only $55 million with the after hours. Had a good day, mostly in the morning. So in A period, when we opened... We got initially above the open, and when we got back below the open, I took a short, the 444 puts, and had a pretty decent trade on that one to start the day. Then in B period, when we got up, I was like, now value, before I go on, value today went from unchanged to overlapping to lower, to overlapping to higher, to unchanged again. So it was all over the place. So when B kind of ripped up and got to value high from yesterday, I took another put play to 445s, and again, it backed off. So I was happy with that. Then C period, I changed. We had single prints at least to start. Now, they got filled, but because the ebb and flow of the market, we were going, you know, each push down resulted in one back up. I scalped longs five times in C period with the 442 calls. Five times. One of them was a 50 lot that worked out really nice. So... A, B, and C paid very nicely. I did it again in D, but only not as much. Um, I only did it once in D, and then when D came down, I, once we stopped the one time framing up, that was it. That game was over for me. And then that was basically it. Those are my best trades. I had a really good morning. I attempted a small short in G um, with the lower value thinking, thinking, I'm sorry, a long in G against, so when G came down, I said, now, most of you in here know I like to fade a new low or a new high when we have a wide pock. I generally don't fade the edges. But today, I, I mean, a very small one at the time, value low is lower. And I took one against value low and set them out below ease low. Got below ease low, got out for a small loss, and then look what it did. It went right up. G, H came down again, but then we went up. But that's fine. And then I had another small loss in J when J... Um, was right below eyes high. I'm like, I'm going to take a short and see if if we'd hold eyes high and come back to park. Never did. Again, I took one off for a small loss. And then I did it again in K. This time I did it. Um, we stopped the one time framing up, came back up, took a short, and made some money on it. Got back, basically got back what I lost on the small long in G, the small short in uh, J, and, and, and made green some on it. But the bulk of my money, bulk of the trades I did, and everything I made today was A through D. So we end 11 wide um, inside value, two inside days. It's going to be pretty interesting for tomorrow. Plus you have Powell speaking tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then again on Wednesday 
at 11.45 a.m., both Eastern time. As far as destinations, upside will be the 11 wide park at 443.16, and today's high at 444.05, 444.67 daily high, and 444.89 weekly high, which is still my line in the sand. The good news for buyers is you have three daily highs within 84 uh, cents of each other, one of them a weekly high. So if they ever, if if we take out the inside day to the upside, I think that weekly high should go. For the downside, we have nothing in, except for today's low of 441.90, 441.21 daily low, 439.60 daily low, 438.28 nine wide pock from the 22nd, 436.60 afternoon pullback low from the 22nd. Now, keep in mind, just because M period did what it did, don't automatically assume, oh, we're going to gap low or we're going to come out of this, these two inside, this inside day to the downside. M period does what it wants to do. You know that. So if we open it up inside today's range, it's a good chance you're going to go back and get that 11 wide pock. That's a very visual pock, 11 out of 13, plus the 50-day moving averages right there. So they might back test it again. Now, if we gap lower, obviously, different story. And then on the charts, so again, the monthly, we have three days left in the month. The worst thing the buyers would ever want to see is a close below 436.10 to have an outside month down. We're in balance, three-month balance, but they certainly don't want to close below 436.10. Weekly is down. That does not change until we take out last week's high. If you can't take out last week's high, nothing's changed in the bigger picture and sellers are still in control. And then on the daily, now look, we are one time framing up five days. Because we haven't taken out a previous time frames low, it's still one time framing. But the fact that it's two inside days in a row now, I'm gonna call it balance. So monthly balance, weekly down, daily balance. The ball is still in the seller's hands. If they give it up tomorrow, if we take out today, uh, today's high, they're going to start giving it up, especially if we take out the weekly uh, high. On the flip side, if we come out of this inside day to the downside and start getting traction, well, then they just continue to do what they're doing. Maybe we start looking for last week's low at some point, and then July's monthly low. Hope you had a good day trading. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.